I figured it's about time I did a video here of my uh, my 1946 Dodge pickup. This is a Dodge Brothers uh, WD15 series. Um, it's kind of a uh, patinaed uh, western truck that's been um, kind of converted into a uh, Pro Tour style truck. It's basically a 46 uh, Dodge Brothers cab and uh, front clip bed grafted to a uh, 1993 Chevy S10 chassis and uh, as you can see it sits very low but uh, none of the suspension parts were hacked or chopped or cut or heated in order to achieve that low stance uh, the truck was actually grafted onto the chassis uh, and it was channeled down to where it sits properly and it uh, drives out really nice smooth no no banging around handles real well uh, real solid body no major cancer anywhere I've uh, I've driven this truck everywhere I mean everywhere got a Lexan back window Lexan side glass got an actual glass windshield which has got a hairline crack in it right here. No big deal. Gives it some character. Got a crank out windshield. Got the cowl vent. Got a glove box. Um, got a cheapy stereo with some speakers uh, with an iPod jack. Got a working dome light, which is awesome. It's got a wiper. Got good heat on this toggle. It's got a wiper here. It's got your horn. You've got a uh, temp gauge, which it never runs over about 180 on a 180 thermostat. You got a voltmeter, an ammeter here. Charges great. There's your fuse box. Um, got the VIN plate from the Dodge Brothers. Uh, this truck is titled as the 46 Dodge. All your gauges, your stock gauges for your Chevy S10, the instrument panel work, including the fuel gauge. Um, oil pressure and things of that nature um, but to have a more accurate uh, you, you've got your aftermarket gauges truck starts and runs wonderful got power steering power disc brakes it's real quiet it's got a mega flow exhaust which just sounds real good and smooth nothing nothing loud and stupid Truck's got 59 Cadillac tail lights. It's got a custom-built Valance panel uh, for a filler panel underneath the uh, tailgate. Underneath the tailgate is still the uh, factory spare tire mounted to the frame for the S10 in case you uh, get out on the road and have a uh, have a flat. The truck's got Yokohama wide white walls on 10-inch uh, rear rims and uh, Firestone, I believe, wide whites on the front. Um, on sixes, steelies. But anyway, real quiet, no smoke, no noise, no rattles, no bangs, no funny shit. Doors open and shut real good. Just giving you a good look at it. It's a pretty awesome truck. Under the hood, oh yeah, the uh, light these are your marker lights and your turn signals on both sides. The cowl lights, they both work. High beams and low beams work great too. Um, anyway, under the hood here, you've got the, uh, the bulletproof GM 4.3 liter V6. Average about 20, 23 miles to the gallon. It's got cruise control, works. You can set the cruise at 80 mile an hour going down the interstate, no problems. Heater box, got a wonderful heater. Got new hoses, new water pump, new thermostat, new radiator. It's got a, a proper radiator for a uh, for an early style Dodge pickup instead of a uh, S10 radiator turned on end, which is ridiculous. Seen that done a lot. If you freight booster, everything's real accessible. Nothing's nothing's hard to get to. I mean your plugs, everything's easy to change. So anyway, 
thought I'd do a quick video of the truck and uh, if you see it out. Um, I had it at the uh, Hot Rod Reunion in Bowling Green here a week or so ago. Uh, we're going to have it at Lebanon, Tennessee at the Redneck Rumble. And I'm hoping to make it up to the Road Rockets up in Indianapolis here in a, in a week or so. So uh, anyway, check it out. Thanks for watching.